Hi, I'm Paul, the Running Shoe Guru. This is Marathon Handbook and this is the new Adidas Adizero Prime X. A few details about the shoe to start with. In the US it's $250, in the UK £230. Weighs in at around 250 grams, that's 8.8 .8 ounces in um, a UK or US um, 8.5. Um, the main thing about this particular shoe is, of course, this um, pretty big stack height. And it even says on, on the medial side here, 50 millimetres. So, um, 50 millimetres of stack, that makes this shoe um, illegal under World Athletics um, shoe rules. Now, incidentally, on the World Athletics shoe list, the shoe isn't there. So, it's not there as a band shoe. And it's a funny thing because on that list you only have shoes that are actually legal in one aspect and if they may be banned in another aspect, so if it's legal on the track and not legal on the road etc it may be listed, but shoes that are totally banned um, aren't listed which makes me wonder, um, Adidas have said it's 50 mil, okay it measures 50 mil, side by side it looks pretty much exactly the same as the Nike Alpha Fly, um, but were Nike um, get around that is they have a kind of a deep recess into um, into this part of the uh, the sole and that obviously measures the overall thickness of the shoe to be shallower so they measure approximately 12 and a half percent in from the heel of the overall length of the shoe if there's a big hole a recess in there cut away usually to explore the carbon plate or some other feature it narrows or slims down that overall stack so it makes it much less therefore coming in under 40 millimetres and making the shoe legal. So my question would be, have Adidas um, submitted the shoe to World Athletics? Um, or have they just come straight out and said, listen, it's 50 mil, um, we're not too concerned. Um, and that kind of works nicely as a, uh, a sales point for them as well. Anyway, rules aside, um, you're not going to be wearing this if you're um, a world-class or an international athlete looking for qualifying times, qualifying standard, championship races, national races, anything like that. So Adidas are pitching it as a trainer to complement their other lineup of racing shoes like the Takumi Sen for 5, 10k and the Adi Zero Pro 3 we're on now um, for 10k up to marathon. So this is trainer to compliment them to do fast work um, and to give you plenty of cushioning that propulsive feel uh, but also aid with recovery as well thanks to the large amount of cushioning it is incredibly soft um, you can't really do it justice like this but it does feel soft and bouncy when you've got your body weight on there and you're standing in the shoe it's also rather slim in the heel as well and at 50 millimeters I did have a little bit of concern over the um, the stability of the shoe as many people have found. Um, when you're warming up in the shoe, it, it does feel wobbly. For me, it took until I got to about 6.30 miling, six minute in, that it actually found that I was rolling through a lot more efficiently. There's a slight bevel on the, nat um, um, on the lateral side, so when you do strike on your heel, it does roll you in, um, and it does, it kind of becomes more stable at speed because you're rolling through quickly and not necessarily going to wobble in the heel area. So once I did get up to speed, it did feel really nice. The bottom of the shoe, um, you've got the uh, the continental rubber. It's very thin, um, but um, let's just get a, a kind of good picture here for you. There we go. So you've got a very thin layer of the continental rubber, but continental rubber is a lot more sticky almost. Gives a very good traction, comes from the car tire people. Um, and it's reasonably durable as well. For this type of shoe, you're not going to be wearing it every day. So it does a good enough job. Decent coverage in the um, heel area as well, so it comes right back to the to the back of the heel. So again, helps with durability. Um, very little areas of the midsole that may come into the uh, outside of the ground are, are truly exposed. So that helps with uh, the durability overall. Now you can just about see the carbon rods in there. These are Adidas's version of a carbon players, if you like. They're called energy rods, and. What you have here, you have um, a circular piece, they're all kind of banded together if you like in the heel and they spread out following the metatarsals of the foot 
um, into the forefoot so you get a, a, a kind of a, a spreading out um, effect like this and these are running under the foot. They provide the same effect as the carbon plate helping to reduce lost energy or increase energy return and propulsion and combined with the very soft um, foam um, they do give a nice toe off, a nice push off. Um, so you've got a good, good combination of lots of cushioning, um, not quite as responsive as the probe, for example. That's because of the added depth. So it's it's a kind of um, it's a fine line. I guess it would depend on your body weight, the pace you're running, and things like that as well. Some people may have a perfect per um, a preference on this shoe over the uh, the pro. Um, upper very clear kind of uh, translucent mesh as you can see here you can see your hand through it gives a good fit very minimal around the heel very little padding a little bit in there um, you've got this kind of micro suede effect and a very slim tongue as well only thing i thought um, i i would have um, improved perhaps is this bit in the forefoot seems a bit overly engineered, a little bit over complicated. That said, it wasn't an issue. Only thing you do have to be careful with with the shoe is making sure that the, that the tongue is flat against the instep when you're fastening it up. But other than that, a very nice fit, um, very nice indeed. So overall, what would you use this shoe for? Well, for faster sessions um, on the treadmill, it feels great when you're running in a straight line. Absolutely fantastic, particularly when I was doing sessions on the treadmill. Um, felt really nice. Um, when I'm doing sessions on the road, I have been cautious about the, the, the twisting and turning cornering in the shoe, and that again comes from the high stack height and the instability. So you, you just have to be a little bit aware of the road surface. Um, you know, don't don't be taking too many sharp twists and turns. Other than that, straight line speed, really nice. Value for money, it is a little bit expensive. It is a little bit niche. Um, do you need it in your lineup? Well, it, it, I mean, of course, it's it's totally arbitrary if you can afford the shoe or not. If you can, I'm sure you will enjoy it. Um, there are uses for it, um, and if you're doing long tempo runs as well, again, it really does come into its own. It's an incredibly soft responsive feel um, and it does feel like it's soaking up every bit of impact from the road so that's the adidas adi zero prime x